And while we're talking about things that move, I want to ask you a question. I have two things in my hand. What is this? A ball of cotton and a ball. That's right. If I were to stand up on this stool and drop them side by side, who thinks the ball will hit the ground first? Who thinks the cotton will hit the ground first? Who thinks they will hit at exactly the same time? Well, that's good in science. It's OK to have theories about things. But we don't just argue, and we don't vote, but we do an experiment. So let's try it. And you notice the ball did hit the ground first, but maybe not for the reason that you thought. Not because the ball is heavier than the cotton, but because there's more air resistance with the cotton. And so the air slowed it down. And I can illustrate that with another apparatus right here. Can you see what's inside of here? Cotton and a penny. Anything else? Exactly. There's air in here. It's a long tube, but it's open to the air. And so I can repeat the experiment inside this tube. Now, maybe if you're in the back, it's hard for you to see the penny. But you can hear it if you listen very closely. And you see, indeed, the cotton falls much slower than the penny does, uh, much like the demonstration I did uh, a moment ago. But the reason I'm doing this in a tube is so that I can take all of the air out of the tube. And to do that, we connect the tube back here to a vacuum pump. And then I'll turn on the vacuum pump. And you will see from the gauge here that the pressure is dropping. Uh, we're evacuating the tube. We're removing the air from the tube. And uh, if I remove all of the air, we have a perfect vacuum in here. But it's impossible to do that. Uh, there will always be a little bit of air left, uh, but not very much. You can see the gauge has come down very close to zero now. And when it gets down close to zero, we can close this valve. Once that valve is closed, we don't need the vacuum pump anymore. So we can turn off the vacuum pump. And in fact, we can disconnect the hose, which we no longer need. You see, indeed, air comes in. And we have a tube with what in it? Cotton? Penny? And no air. A little bit of air. In fact, we call that a vacuum. It's a partial vacuum. But now, if I start with a penny and the ball of cotton in one end and flip it over, they fall at the same rate. That's pretty amazing. Now, so you know there are no tricks, I can let the air back in. You see the air going in. And I can do it one last time. And you see now, the ball of cotton falls very slowly. And so it is a fact that objects near the surface of the Earth, as we all are, fall with the same acceleration, 9.8 meters per second squared, independent of what they're made out of, independent of how heavy they are, um, and everything else, as long as we can uh, neglect the air resistance that slows it down.